The literal translation from Greek for flamingos is blood, red, feathers. But the symbolism of flamingos relates to more than just the symbolism of their feathers. They are famous for standing on one leg, with the other one tucked under the body. They're known as being a little mysterious, precisely because this behaviour is quite the puzzle. Aside from their influence on the locals and the regions they populate, such as the Americas and the Caribbean, their significance is far-reaching. They've appeared in Disney films used as croquet mallets in Alice in Wonderland. They've even been part of grand conspiratorial hoaxes, convincing people blue versions of the species really do exist. By the way, they don't. So let's take a look at some of the more popular meanings flamingos have in the areas of history, spirituality, and even garden furniture. Number one, you are what you eat. Due to a diet rich in algae and invertebrates, flamingos get their pink color. For humans observing this, it's a stark reminder of the importance of our health and our nutrition. Just like flamingos, although it isn't so obvious, we are also the sum of what we eat and how we move. Number two, standing tall. The average flamingo can stand anywhere from three and a half to almost five feet in height. That's very tall for a bird. It's also a reason why we imagine them towering off the ground. One lesson to be learned here is that grace comes from extension and posture. A long-legged flamingo using its vertical assets can be just as impressive as a human doing the same. It's all about being proud of the body you're born with. It's also a reminder of beauty being in the eye of the beholder. What might be deemed as an ugly aesthetic to some isn't the view of all, but just for the record, we think flamingos are beautiful. Number three, safety in numbers. Flamingos eat, swim and live in large numbers. Evolutionary speaking, that helps them survive. Each bird looks out for one another as they also do possible dangers. Looking at a crowd of pink this way helps us remember that sometimes we're better off having one another's backs. Four, water loving. We mostly view flamingos as belonging in shallow water, using their legs to keep their body and beaks well above the surface. This design helps them massively with feeding. They're much better placed to spot lava, insects, moss, and crustaceans. Being on the water, or close to it, seems to be the place the flamingos most feel at home. Flamingos as spirit animals. Flamingos play a big part as totems and spirit animals for believers of animism. Their nature, as well as their appearance, cast many different meanings. Here are some. Number five, emotion. Flamingo people in animism are said to be intellectual sponges that are very in tune with people's emotions. Maybe this idea has something to do with the sight of a group of flamingos, actually referred to as a flamboyance. Gathering in their thousands in locations as diverse as salt flats, lakes, swamps and lagoons, they're a very calming sight. Number six, balance. Another quality that animists believe flamingo people to have, due to their contemplative nature, is balance. Said to process details and interpret information carefully, adopters of the flamingo as a spirit animal are deep and balanced thinkers. They also never rush to conclusions and remain patient, a lot like the birds themselves, who look still and unmoving when viewed from afar. Maybe this has something to do with the flamingo's well-known ability to perch on a single leg for an hour on end. Number seven, teamwork. Flamingos are usually photographed close to one another, both in flight, which they do at high altitudes, possibly to avoid predation, and on the ground. Perhaps this is a reason why teamwork is said to be another important quality in the realm of flamingos and spiritualism. People with whom the animal resonates are often very family and friend oriented. Very rarely are they loners or people who enjoy solitude. Flamingos in dreams. Dreaming about flamingos is said to be a positive experience. On the one hand, it evokes romance and balance, while on the other, it points to success and love. Flamingos, unlike many other animals, don't appear in too many idioms or phrases. One that does exist though, although not regularly heard, is that of being a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. Plainly speaking, it means to embrace your quirks and idiosyncrasies and celebrate your uniqueness. Doing so will also get others around you to do the same. Summary. The symbolism of flamingos is very deep rooted in positive ideals. Not only do they promote individual independence and self-love, but they also remind us to lift up and energize those around us. There are very few negatives in the way of their associations. To learn more about flamingos and look at all of our points, click on the link in the description.